Hello folks, Alok here. I'm going to talk today about um, uh, one, of, one of the best films ever made. A, uh, a film that, that everyone, everyone should watch. It's, it's a difficult film to watch in multiple ways. And if you haven't seen any of the films of the, uh, the late German filmmaker, Rainer Werner Fassbinder, uh, I would not recommend you start with this film in particular. So I would recommend, and the film I'm going to talk about a little bit here is In a Year of 13 Moons, which is, uh, I think, uh, his best film at the moment. I still haven't seen all of his films. Um, so I would recommend, if you haven't seen any of Fassbinder's films, start with another one of his films, um, like uh, Ali, Fear Eats the Soul, fantastic film. Uh, a film, Why Does Hair R Run Amok, fantastic film. Um, uh, another film that is pure Fassbender and also a little bit crazy, a little harder to get into, uh, is, a, is a film called Satan's Brew. Uh, another film, actually, that uh, one of Fassbender's uh, most famous films, fantastic film, uh, you could also start with is The Marriage of Maria Brown. Um, so maybe you could watch a couple of these films. And then when you feel up to it, try this film, uh, watch this film, In a Year of Thirteen Moons. Uh, it's a difficult, it's a difficult film, film to watch. Um, it's, it's essential to watch. I, uh, it's, it's a really great film. Uh, it has, so if you're going to keep watching, um, maybe, maybe stop the video now if you haven't actually watched the film, uh, because there may be some sort of spoilers coming here. Um, I think it's, it's better to, to just watch the film. And, uh, so some of the things some some things the the film is really it's it's really masterly in a way by Fassbender in that there are a number of different filmic techniques used in this film. Uh, there's like a musical number. Um, there is like a really melodramatic kind of scene that's sort of sort of pseudo philosophical, and there are a number of things that uh, feel almost. Um, there's probably a word that comes to mind a lot with Fassbender cinema is, is campy, um, almost a pastiche. But in this particular film, uh, it ends up having uh, a pretty tremendous impact. And hi, everyone. Uh, sorry, I, I, I paused the video there to reflect uh, on, on, these, on why Fassbender may have used and, and the impact of the different modes of cinema. And... Uh, I was just reflecting on that for several minutes, and then I'm resuming this video, talking to you. I guess, I, uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't really have anything, um, uh, anything else to say. Uh, so hopefully, you, you, you will, you'll have more, more, more to say about it, except to say that, you know, why, why would Fassbender use these different modes of cinema? It's very interesting how, at the end, so many of these things that you would think wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily work together, they actually work so well. And you kind of think like, and then you kind of think you can't imagine the film without the scenes this way, even though it's ridiculous. And in some way, that's it's kind of how you might reflect on your own life. Well, I can't imagine not having done this or this not having happened to me in my life, um, I, even though everything's really arbitrary. And certainly uh, some of these scenes will seem very arbitrary. Uh, when you watch it, and then on reflection, there's something different. And then the other thing, uh, I mean, the major, the major point of, of doing things in these different ways is, and you could see my own reaction to these things, is that when you break the realist uh, mode of cinema, in other words, when, when the film you're making is not purely in a realist mode, uh, and this is kind of that, the Brechtian idea, and I've forgotten that big German word, whatever that thing is, um, that you have this kind of disengagement. So it forces you, instead of uh, just being kind of one with the protagonist and being absorbed and kind of escape, you know, into another world, it forces you to reflect and to contemplate. And so that's one of the natural reasons you would, you would, you might use a different mode of cinema because it startles someone and then you have to start thinking you're you're that 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 spell of realism is broken um so that's that's one point i would make about it but i think there's there's more to it than that in this film um and uh, it's something i need to 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 watch more and and reflect on more and hopefully 
other, other views will, will have more incisive thoughts. And then overall this film, so five minutes in now, let me get to what you know, this film is kind of about. Um, it is really, of course, uh, a, a meditation on identity. You know, what does it mean to, to be a person, even to have a gender, um, to have any kind of a desire, uh, to, to have a profession, in his case, uh, as he reflects on his pr profession in the unforgettable early sequence uh, in, in the butcher shop and uh, with, the, with, the, with these slabs of flesh. And, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. And then the, uh, the ending, uh, it really impacts you. And, and the film is, is really beautiful that this, uh, this, this individual has had a difficult life, but has also been loved and um, been accepted. And, um, but still wonders what, what was there. Let me pause. What was there in living? Even after more reflection, it's kind of hard, hard to say. Um, other than it, it, it's a really affecting film, and it, it, it forces you to, to think about these things. And this film fundamentally is someone looking looking back on on his life, not someone looking forward. Um, it's a different way of looking. Um, but uh, it's a great film. You should watch it. Tell me what you think. And, uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy other uh, films of Fassbinder, one of uh, the very, very, very great filmmakers and uh, extraordinary filmmaker who, who made something like four films a year, died pretty young, but after having made like 40, 50 films, uh, phenomenal. Enjoy. Bye for now.